Hello, this is Bob here. Uh, showing here using a virtual PC. This is actually Microsoft Virtual PC. It is version 6.0.192. Uh, it's the latest version. I just downloaded this a few days ago. I just gotten around to playing with it here. For fun, I uh, decided to install Windows 95. Uh, this isn't actually supported by the program itself, or ne neither, neither is the actual computer because I'm using XP Home, but it does work. Uh, you just won't get much help from Microsoft if you have any problems with it, uh, which there is. So uh, bear in mind, it kind of Windows 95 kind of doesn't like doing this. So uh, here we go. First, you click on here, and you click Start. This is kind of just like starting up a computer. Kind of center it a little bit. Computer I'm running on it, like I said, has XP Home. Uh, it's two gigabytes of RAM, so it doesn't have any problem with this. Uh, you can adjust the actual RAM. Uh, you can use for your operating system that you're installing. This one was a default 128 megabyte, which is plenty for Windows 95. Here we go with all the little error messages. There we go, and we get some more. Just click OK. I'll just cancel this. Or whatever. Hit apply. Okay. Seems like every time I start this up, it comes up with a different thing. Alright. Every time you start it up, uh, it treats it as a fresh install. Uh, I haven't installed anything into this. Uh, you can get to see Windows 95 is a fresh boot, fresh install I should say, get your games, free cell, I, system tools, disk defrag and scan disk, uh, no problem, Internet Explorer, this is I believe Internet Explorer 3, I won't connect to anything but can see what version it is. I believe it's the, yep, Microsoft Internet Explorer 3. And close out of that. We can check the control panel, the system, I think Windows 95. You can check your device manager. See a lot of these things aren't working right. about it. I'm trying to think of anything else. We can see, check out my computer. Please. I only gave it two gigabytes. I wasn't really planning on doing much with this. It's just playing around. I suppose if you had some old games or programs you could uh, install it on here and actually use them. That's about it. And yeah, shut it down. Just hit to shut down. And shut it off like you would normal. Pretty cool. It's a nice program. Uh, if you want to have some old games or old programs, like I said, uh, it'd be a nice little tool. Uh, almost eliminates to have the need for a different computer for each operating system if you have legacy programs that you'd like to run or just like to play around with old uh, operating systems. Uh, that's about it for today, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.